Your voice, your opinion, your community. Fact TV, free speech, protected. Brenda Farkas, co-pastor at Living Hope Fellowship. I'm Matthew J. Farkas. I'm the pastor of Living Hope Fellowship. The question is, if the Bible is God speaking to us, how do we apply it today? We're here to show that the Bible is still relevant today. The name of the show is Say What? Say What? Welcome to Say What with Pastor Matthew and Brenda Fargus. And today I titled Great Faith, which was supposed to be your sermon on Sunday. So I thought, well, since you didn't get to it on Sunday, we could do it on the show. Yeah, on, in that thought, mm -hmm. when Jesus was ministering to different people, he would clarify faith with an adjective. Okay. He would say little faith, great faith, no faith. <laughs> um, and so you see there, and I was looking at, um, so faith is measurable. Mm -hmm. And how it starts in Romans 12, 3, it says God has given to each of us a measure of faith, mm -hmm. right? And, and back in chapter 10, how does he do that? Well, faith comes by hearing, hearing the word of God, right? The initial, the initial faith was an equitable amount. Everybody got the same the amount. The same amount. I'm trying yeah. to explain that. Okay. In Romans 10, 17, mm -hmm. it says, Faith comes by the hearing, hearing the word of God. By the mm -hmm. grace of the Holy Spirit, you were prompted. Mm -hmm. That's the harema part, the revelation part, mm -hmm. to accept Jesus Christ. You were okay. drawn, drawn by the Spirit yeah. of God. Mm -hmm. Because you might have heard that message a hundred times, but it didn't mean anything. Right. But all of a sudden, the Spirit of God got involved with it. And what I mean by that is we all got born again on the same message. Mm -hmm. Jesus said, if you entered into the kingdom of God another way, you're a thief. Mm -hmm. You've been robbed. Yeah. And that's in John 10. I kind of put my own paraphrase on that. But so what does he mean by that? It means that each of us, to enter the kingdom of God, you must be born again. And Jesus said that as a command. You mm -hmm. must be born again. It was, mm -hmm. a, it was a command. Mm -hmm. And so what does that mean? It means that you have to accept what Jesus did. He came not only to taste our physical life, our mm -hmm. natural man. He went through everything we've been tempted with, but he also went through and was tested with our spiritual life. He took not only on our natural mm -hmm. life, he took on our spiritual life. He was separated mm -hmm. from God. Mm -hmm. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? And so when you hear the message, someone brings you the good news. How And in Romans 10 in the same chapter, says, how will they believe? Mm -hmm. They believe by the feet of them that bring good news. The feet always represents the teaching, the preaching of the Word of God. Mm -hmm. So we all heard that message, and we all said, Jesus, come into our heart. Forgive mm -hmm. me for the things I've done, et cetera. Yeah. That same scripture, we all came in, Romans mm -hmm. 10, 10, 8 through 10, so we all have that same measure of faith. See, because it's the Word that brought the faith. Faith mm -hmm. comes by hearing the Word. So we're all born again on the same knowledge, mm -hmm or the same intel of God's thoughts, yeah. he made a system, and his system or his way was accept Jesus Christ. I am the way, the truth, the life, no man unto the Father except mm -hmm. by me. So God created that way. Why did he create that way? To redeem us, to mm -hmm. buy us back out of the sin nature, that separation mm -hmm. from God, so that we could have the life of God in us. Mm -hmm. That's why he did it. Yeah. So you believe that. Mm -hmm. what, do, what did you believe? You believe that Jesus became sin for us. Yeah. On the cross, he bore our sin. He was taken into a place we should go after death. Mm -hmm. He was resurrected the third morning early. Mm -hmm. He went to heaven, offered his blood. Mm -hmm. What he did for us, God accepted as eternal redemption. Mm -hmm. Now you hear that, you believe that, you receive it as the truth, mm -hmm. then you confess it and say, Jesus, come to mind. So we all came in on the same knowledge. Yeah. So really, faith is the same equal or quality, I don't know if you can say that, it's equal with your faith. So the more you know of God, the more faith you can have. Mm -hmm. So it, it's equal. So you can't have more faith past knowledge, mm -hmm. and you can't have knowledge without faith. It just brings faith. So it, knowledge, it's an automatic thing. So knowledge is how your faith grows. Right. So 
it can grow exceedingly. How can it grow exceedingly? Because you put time in a study and meditation. Right, you invest your time Mm -hmm. into that. The more time you put into anything, Mm -hmm. you gain a return. A return. And Mm -hmm. so faith is really the return of your meditation Mm -hmm. or or your study. so study that you will be approved, mm-hmm. a workman that can discern between right and good. Mm-hmm. And so you have to, and it also teaches how to discern things. Right. Because you begin to learn the difference between what is good and what is wrong. I mean, even in natural things like do uh, the commandment is do not steal. But mm-hmm. let's get off of that. So my point of that is we all start out with the same measure of faith. Mm-hmm. It's up to each individual then how far that faith will go. Mm -hmm. And so Jesus began to gear it to the reaction to circumstances or situations. For example, when Peter asked him to walk on the water and he took his eyes off the word, he took his eyes off of Jesus and put it on the circumstances, he began to sink Mm -hmm. and cried out, save me, Lord. And what's the very first thing he said to him? Oh, ye of little faith. Mm -hmm. He also talked about that, about your your what you eat and what you drink and what you wear and and your bills and and your mortgage and all that your natural life he said seek ye first the kingdom of god and he said and he used faith in that situation so Mm -hmm. faith is used Mm -hmm. basically in every aspect of our life not just spiritually Mm -hmm. god wants to use faith his knowledge his intel his his facts who, who he is and he wants to be so much part of our life that it it goes into every aspect of our life. So what I did is I took faith, and I was in two different camps. Mm-hmm. Both were Pentecostal camps. One taught, you believe you receive, you shall have it. It shall be yours. Mm-hmm. Then the other camp would believe that, but then it would add, if it is thy will. So there was a tag on it. There was a tag on it, and I thought, mm-hmm. wait a minute. If it is your will, wait a minute. Is it God's will or not God's will? So that right produces there. doubt. That's right. not faith. Right. That really can produce doubt. So, so stop right there. So when we do any kind of teaching, a lot of times we tell people the Word of God is the will of God. Right. And Jesus was the Word made flesh. That's right. He, it says in Psalms 107, he sent his Word and healed them and delivered them from right. all their destruction. Right. So, so Jesus was the Word of God in action and the will of God in action. Mm-hmm. So we would say if you want to see what, what it's like, look at Jesus. Fact, We're really good at looking at Jesus when we want to for certain things like love your neighbor as yourself or, right. you know, the Beatitudes or things like that. But when it comes to looking at the area of faith, we, we don't always look at Jesus. And when we do, we say, oh, it's because he was special. He was the Son of God. Right. But the Bible says he laid aside his right. deity. He laid aside all of that right. and entered into human world right and human experience that's we should talk and about that, that is our hope Easter, you know and that is our hope right because he he was the forerunner he's the author and the finisher of our faith mm-hmm. so we so can what i we did can get something on that i did a study on the narratives and the first one yep. i wanted to talk about is how god in each episode that jesus dealt with under the anointing of the holy spirit the Spirit of God would bring a truth out that God would want us to to see and understand. Mm-hmm. And so you were just talking about that, the will mm-hmm. in action. Yep. When Matthew 8 starts, it comes out of the Mount, the Sermon on the Mount. Mm-hmm. We, we're familiar with that. Yeah. Most denominational people are familiar mm-hmm. with that. It's where we get the Beatitudes. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I, uh, those that seek mercy, get mercy. How's that? I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I kind of drift away from some of that. I get into the letters. So name me one. It's, uh, well, why do you need to do that? I don't know. Just so they kind of know where we're at. He's coming from teaching that. Mm-hmm. And he comes down off the hill. And this picks up in Matthew mm-hmm. 8. When he comes down from the mountain, mm-hmm. great multitudes followed him. Now, remember, when he started in ministry, it was just him. God mm-hmm. commanded him to go into the towns, the villages, right. et cetera, et cetera. And if you follow that, he went teaching, preaching, and healing. Mm-hmm. And so there God, you go. That was the will of God and right. the word of God. And yes. he had no, he had no, um, like um, 
work order or he right. had no right. design mm -hmm. future like god said if you do this you'll have that or he just basically went out in faith mm -hmm. and followed the spirit of god mm -hmm. to do what god called him to do and mm -hmm. by this time he has a multitude of people following him mm -hmm. because god is confirming his word with signs and wonders mm -hmm. and the signs and wonders were drawing the people because people have needs mm -hmm. And a lot of the needs that were being met were physical, mm -hmm. either demonically driven or physical elements. Mm -hmm. And people were hurting, mm -hmm. and medical science wasn't helping them as much as it is today. So they would hear about Jesus and the anointing that was on him. And so people would come from all over uh, the region mm -hmm. to get a touch of God. Right. And so here he is, he comes down, there's a great multitude of people following him, and a leper worship him, saying, Lord, if thy will, thou will make me clean. Mm -hmm. Jesus stops, he puts forth his hand, touched him, saying, I will. Mm -hmm. And I, it's kind of interesting, you started out there. And the next one is, it's an imperative, but it's a, it's a, a pronouncement impairment. Mm -hmm. imperative what that means as soon as jesus said that he was healed mm -hmm. in other words while jesus was saying be thou clean mm -hmm. the power of god healed him right and he was absolutely healed so that really in that episode it wasn't faith it was the manifestation of the spirit it was mm -hmm. called gifts of healing right. working of miracles and so to confirm that to the person he had to go back and show the priests mm -hmm. if you go back to the levitical book mm -hmm. in the bible yeah. There was, they had to go show themselves for the priest, and they had to pronounce him mm -hmm. clean. So Jesus was testifying to the Jews, mm -hmm. to, especially to the priests, yep. the power and the will of God. Right. And, and that's interesting because the guy said, if it is your will, you'll hear me. Mm -hmm. and, and that's what they say. They'll say, they'll make a prayer, they'll say it's faith, and then they'll say, if it is thy will. Mm -hmm. Well, that's basically what this guy was saying. Right. If it is your will, you'll hear him. Heal so, me. what your point is, it was not his personal faith that got him healed. Right. Got the result. Right. The but, result was. And two, mm -hmm. it wasn't if it be thy will. Jesus corrects that and says, it is my will. Right. So, divine healing is a part mm -hmm. of the gospel, it's a part of the redemptive act that mm -hmm. Jesus did through the death, burial, and resurrection. Mm -hmm. In other words, he not only dealt with our spirit man, mm -hmm for complete wholeness. He dealt with our physical man for complete wholeness. And I like verse four. And Jesus said unto him, see that you tell no man. Now that would be really hard to do. Right. And then he said, but go your way and show yourself to the priest and offer the gift that Moses commanded. So you had to, you had to offer a sacrifice of some kind. Right. And now, then, and, and it's a testimony unto mm -hmm. he, Jesus was showing him authority. Right. Respect the authority. And, and, and I look at it another way mm -hmm. too. Jesus never wanted to ditch his inheritance, mm -hmm. his, his um, race, or how can I say this, his culture. Mm -hmm. He understood the Levitical command that you're to go before a priest, so he didn't say... That's what I mean, he was subject to that. Yeah, he, he wasn't saying mm -hmm. that I'm above that mm -hmm. and I'm dishing right. religion. Right, I'm better than, I'm bigger than. Right, but he was showing religion yeah. that there is a power, mm -hmm. because religion a lot of times has a form, mm -hmm. but it denies power thereof. Right. Jesus was showing him that God's power still is moving, but he didn't violate, he wasn't trying to violate their upbringing. He wasn't mm -hmm. trying to dish mm -hmm. what he understood right. this man to understand. So he used it twofold. He said, number one, show them that it is the will of God to continue to heal. Two, mm -hmm. go show your healing to the priests mm -hmm. that God is still alive that it is his will yeah because he said it'll be a testimony unto them right it'll be a yeah. witness to them mm -hmm. a witness of what mm -hmm. that god's power right. is moving now that's the that's 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 good but what happened fast forward now people a lot of times will rely on somebody's testimony mm -hmm. and people instead of looking into the word of god or having a relationship do not realize that it's it's there for them it's available Mm -hmm. So they maybe look back and see the stories, and mm -hmm. that's what it is, a story to them in, in the Bible. And they say, oh, well, that was a Bible story. Oh, that was a special time mm -hmm. when God moved. 
It doesn't happen like that anymore. Mm-hmm. Where my Bible says that God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He doesn't right. change. Right. But what, what we're used to doing is thinking with our natural mind the way we, we've been used to thinking. And somebody mm-hmm. used to call it stinking thinking. <laughs> because what it is is we don't enter into that new covenant relationship with God. Because, you know, you could tell me God did all kinds of things, especially in the world we live in. People say a lot. And then tomorrow they might say it different. Or, or they think that just because they say it, that you should believe it, mm-hmm. especially if they say it enough to you. But, but that's not the way God's principles of his word work. Mm-hmm. And so he's very personable. He, you, you make a relationship with him. He, he, he communicates with you. Right. And he communicates you through the word and the spirit. So mm-hmm. although testimonies are good and they're helpful, they stir people up. They get people excited. Oh, wow. God did that? You mean God still does that? That's good, but you can't live your life on that. Mm-hmm. You know. Two more facts. One, it is God's will to always mm-hmm. heal, right? And He proved that to this man, mm-hmm. and the, and to the priests. Mm-hmm. And the third thing was, yes, there is medical science. Yes, there's medicine. Mm-hmm. Yes, there is healing in what man can do, mm-hmm. but God's the ultimate healer. Right. That that without God, there's mm-hmm. that healing process doesn't exist because God still gives medical doctors and medical science and science the knowledge to be able to come up with inventions or medicine that can help the physical body. Mm -hmm. But the ultimate healer is God. And and I think he's showing to these priests that God is the ultimate, that Mm -hmm. yes, there is a certain healing power in medicine and doctors Mm -hmm. and the way he set it up in Levitical because he knew that they were natural men without God in their right. life. Mm-hmm. God's now in the flesh. He's now walking. Mm-hmm. And he's showing them a higher way of, of mm-hmm. life. I don't know how I'm trying to say it. He's showing them as a higher they healing. They used to call it the deeper life. Oh, yeah, there's a higher <laughs> healing mm-hmm. process mm-hmm. than medical science. The initial healer is God. Okay, so how, how, how to do that maybe would be in Romans where it says the good, acceptable, and perfect will of God. Mm-hmm. You can experience the will of God in your life. But sometimes you might say, okay, was this what will, was God's perfect will? You know, you mm-hmm. know what? So ultimately, God healing healing right. is the result you're looking right. for. It comes in different right. ways. So what I yeah. would say God would want us to see in this mm-hmm. most of all is He showed this Jew, mm-hmm. a covenant Jew, which yep. today would be a denominational minister, a person, yeah. someone that accepted Jesus, right. some a typical Christian. Right that it is God's will. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of times we don't know what is the truth or not. But he's testifying not only to this man, but to the priest, it is God's will Mm -hmm. to heal. Mm -hmm. That I have come as the will of God in action. And one Mm -hmm. of the major will of God is not only to touch our life spiritually, Mm -hmm. but to touch our mental. Mm -hmm. Because when he taught him, no, don't go over into that realm. It is it God's will, is it not? Did I do something? He won't heal me. I'm not what worried can enough I do? to be yeah, healed. That's you know what I mean? Yeah. So he's saying, no, don't go there. Mm-hmm. It is God's will that's a to fact. heal. Mm-hmm. Right. And now be mm-hmm. thou clean. Mm-hmm. So not only does he touch him spiritually, mentally, and physically, mm-hmm. because God wants to deal with all three areas of our life. Mm-hmm. And I love how he corrected his thinking there and said, no, it is God's will. Mm-hmm. We can't come to God. Yeah, saying, because when you start to question, like you said, you're mm-hmm. you're then staggering, wavering, doubting. Right, because if you're going to you're say, sure. wonder if this is really God's mm-hmm. will or not, you're mm-hmm. not confident. Yeah. See, faith, the definition of faith is having confidence. Mm-hmm. It's being trustworthy. It, it's be able to put your trust in mm-hmm. it. It's to be bold in it. It's mm-hmm. to, you know, to be aggressive in it. And if you're going to go, well, I'm not sure if it's God's will or not, mm-hmm. you know. Right. You're not going to really approach that with a confidence and a no, boldness. No, you're not. You're just not. Yeah. So he had to change this man's thinking first. Yeah. And then through changing and, his and thinking, my, my, he could touch his body. And to my point earlier, if I'm going to live my life by people's testimonies, then if I try to interact with God the way that person did mm-hmm. in my situation, and God doesn't give me the same result, then I would do that. I would say, Okay, then, God, I guess it wasn't meant for me. Mm-hmm. I guess I didn't do something right. right you're you're going to go know? somewhere when it, you don't <laughs> yeah. know the perfect You're going to doubt it. You're right. going to doubt it. So the yeah. second part of this chapter is interesting because mm-hmm. we see that God can heal. We can't put God in a box. Mm-hmm. He can be God. He, he is God. Mm-hmm. 
And so in the first one, he heals by the power of God. He heals by the manifestations mm -hmm. of the Spirit, okay? Yep. He heals by gifts of healings, working in ministry, mm -hmm. uh, working in miracles. Mm -hmm. And so we see that there's, there's a beautiful healing power of God. So the next example, he uses faith. Which and is verse 5. Right? It, it starts with a Roman centurion. Mm -hmm. and, and this surprises me because God's showing that we can't put God in a box. He can heal any way that he wants. Mm -hmm. He knows the future. He knows. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of times when it's done supernaturally like mm -hmm. that, mm -hmm. it could be a desperate situation. But yeah. sometimes he's calling that person. Yeah. Because that's a witness to you down the road that you were sick, you were dire sick, you were... This guy, you his whole flesh could have melted off yeah. his body. Yeah. Yeah. What yeah. leprosy did was mm -hmm. melt, it like ate the skin off, right. you know what I mean? And mm -hmm. he he was desperate. We don't know how leprosy he was, mm -hmm. but he's now clean. Mm -hmm. And when something like that happens in your life, that's very hard to doubt. Right. And so when you hit a hard spot and you're starting to doubt things, mm -hmm. I can't imagine the Spirit of God wouldn't re remind him Remember how sick you were? Right. And by this man saying, it is my will, be thou mm -hmm. clean. Mm -hmm. And just while he's speaking that, mm -hmm. it's called a pronouncement imperative in the Greek. As you speak it, the mm -hmm. power of God operates yeah. on Jesus' special faith. Mm -hmm. that, that's that word faith mm -hmm. in this manifestation of spirit. Through that faith, he said, be thou clean. Yeah. And he was instantly healed before he even said clean, mm -hmm. his whole body changed. Yeah. So then we get into the second part of this chapter, and now it's going to be by faith. Mm -hmm. And so there's two approaches to God's healing. I think there's so many different facets of God that we can't just say this is the way God's healed. That would be heal. why he's God. Yeah, that's why he's God. You know? <laughs> I he, always get amazed at that. And he said, my ways are above what your ways, of, my yeah. thing is above what your thing. What part thinking. of God don't you get? <laughs> but one thing it is, I'm not a man that I yeah. should lie. Yeah. And so, again, he brings out that he is true. So we see mm -hmm. here there's two methods of healing okay. mm -hmm. instantly right mm -hmm. after the... So what you've done uh, for me right now is you've given me some definition you've given me some description mm -hmm. and now you're going to go give, give me some measure right of it so here's faith mm -hmm. now this okay. and and um verse five mm -hmm. he's entered into capernaum mm -hmm. and that's where he was staying he okay. was renting a room off of peter mm -hmm. i imagine peter let him stay there but anyway mm -hmm. there came unto him a satorian beseeching him now a satorian is a roman soldier he has a hundred men under him mm -hmm. he's a man of authority mm -hmm. he's earned his position mm -hmm. probably through battle through war mm -hmm. uh through intelligence uh he has favor with the roman governor the, mm -hmm. the roman governor, and so there looked at him and put him in this position of power mm -hmm. because he's earned it okay so, so i'm going to stop you right there because in the world that we live in right now mm -hmm. there's something very important to note about that in this this part of the story mm -hmm. from five one, we hear a lot about um, diversity, inclusion, and equity. Right mm -hmm. there, God had that idea already going on. Right. The centurion was not in covenant as a Jew. I was ready with to talk God. about that. So yeah. there was some diversity. God, he was right. able to enter into right. this this situation. Then there was the situation that can he be included? Because my goodness, he's not. You know, of a the, Jew. Of, mm -hmm. a Jew in the covenant. In the covenant. Because and then I love what you're saying there. Because in this chapter two, we get to see the different that God didn't go by culture. He didn't go by the color of your skin. He didn't mm -hmm. go by the gender of your flesh or your status. Because God yeah. is a spirit. Mm -hmm. He always goes by the spirit, the heart, right. a heart of a person. Yeah. And remember when the remember hidden when, inside part of you. Remember when King Saul, the first king, yeah. sin and and. Samuel had to go to anoint the king, and, mm -hmm. and, and Samuel comes, and his first boy comes. His shoulders are brawl. His head's yeah. above everybody else. Yeah. He's trained warrior. He's mm -hmm. been in training to go to war. Mm -hmm. And Samuel looks at him and says, this is the king. This is the candidate. And God said, no, it's not. And <laughs> yeah. what did God say? I don't go by the outward appearance. I go mm -hmm. by the heart. Right. And so God's showing in these two stories, mm -hmm. it didn't matter if you were Jew or Gentile. Right. It's by your heart, and that's mm -hmm. what God's going to minister to. He doesn't yeah. get off on the color of your skin, the gender mm -hmm. of your flesh, male mm -hmm. or female, he doesn't care. He goes by heart. He goes mm -hmm. by the spirit of the person. He goes by what you believe. Mm -hmm. The first one was confused. He helps them out because he's a Jew. He's a covenant Jew. Mm -hmm. And he's showing the Jews through this Jew to the priest mm -hmm. that God has power to heal, that he's still God. He's still on the throne, mm -hmm. that he's still the big cheese. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. This next story is a Roman centurion that wasn't even in, like you said, in the covenant. He mm-hmm. probably wasn't even circumcised. Mm-hmm. Um, and, 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 and I mean, right away, it's against a lot of the law of Leviticus. So it's kind of bringing out the plan of Leviticus in this book, too, if you think about it. Mm-hmm. But it goes on and it says, And the Lord said, My servant lie at home, sick with palsy, mm-hmm. grievously torment. And Jesus said unto him, I will come. Mm-hmm. And heal him. So he's twice now in this chapter shows God's will. Yeah. I will heal. Mm-hmm. You can't. You can't get around that. Mm-hmm. So you can't really say when you come to God and say, "Will you heal me if it's Thy will?" No, He said, "I will heal I will. you." No, I, I will. I will. It's, right. it's just the, all you need. And it's the strongest. Mm-hmm. How did someone in grammar show I, me this? Yeah, it's shall the, and will are the strongest it's, it's, assertion. I yeah, know, assertion okay. of someone's yeah. purpose. Yeah. I mean, you can't say anything Intention. stronger yeah. than say, I yeah. will. Right. I mean, I will love you. I will do that. I, mm-hmm. you know, you can't, you can't come up with a defining moment stronger than that mm-hmm. language to define that. And again, that. again, that goes back to how it used to be where I give you my word. You know, mm-hmm. It's my intention, and, and my that, purpose, right. my integrity, I will. But, and and that's you. good because... I think it's hard for us to understand that God will because we're not used to living with integrity anymore. Because God could have... Jesus, God in the flesh, mm-hmm. Jesus could have said right here, wait a minute, you're not a Jew. Yeah. You don't go, you right. don't go, to, right. you don't go to church. Right. You're not worthy enough for this. You, right. This you doesn't belong to you. Yeah, you, you know don't what I mean? Qualify. Jesus could have done that, but mm-hmm. he's showing us, the Holy Spirit through mm-hmm. Jesus is showing us God's intellect, Mm -hmm. that it doesn't matter if you're in covenant or not with him. The the principle healing and faith, and I like how the Greek bring it out, whosoever. Mm -hmm. It it doesn't matter where you're at. So there's my inclusive word. Yeah, it's it's, it's not (laughs) where you're at in life. Doing the right thing, you could be doing the wrong thing, but if your heart gets a hold of God's word Mm -hmm. and said, Whosoever mm-hmm. will say or whosoever will desire and believe, mm-hmm. that gets the attention of God. There's something about faith yeah. that impresses God. There's something about faith that causes Jesus to stop in his track mm-hmm. and turn around and said, who touched me? Right. Or he stops here and he listens. But I want to I wanna read this and go to Luke 6, right. Luke, Luke 7, because we're not getting the real picture of this. Mm-hmm. Luke was the only Gentile writer of the New Testament and he's going to show us a that different he, perspective. Of yeah, he, he's an historian. Mm-hmm. He was mm-hmm. a medical doctor, but turned historian. Mm-hmm. And because he got touched by God, he got saved, mm-hmm. filled with the Spirit. And now he's investigating mm-hmm. the life of Jesus. Right. So he has to go back and do some investigating. He's mm-hmm. a journalist, kind of like. He's so, going to go back and tell the story. He's going so Matthew, back and telling right, the story. Right. Matthew is a Jew. He was mm-hmm. a tax collector. Mm-hmm. And he's just flippantly telling the story as, as, he, he, as, as it he rolls saw, out. Yeah, as yeah. he saw it. Yeah. But mm-hmm. Luke gets into the meat of it. Mm-hmm. And I want to, so okay. then the story answered, I'm not worried that I should come under my roof, but speak the word only. And I want to talk about that for a man under authority. So let's go to Luke and look at it through his story. So Matthew just touches it mm-hmm. because his, his thought was the will. Mm-hmm. Right. I will heal a leopard and I will heal a Roman centurion. Mm-hmm. Because why? I am the healer. Mm-hmm. Uh, Jesus said, um, and I like First Peter two twenty four. Not only on the cross did He bear my sins, but also by His stripes He healed me. So that's my one of my favorite ways to talk about God. It's I am, and that's what I do. Mm-hmm. We try to do, do, do to prove who we are, mm-hmm. but we should just be who we are, and right. then the doing will follow. Because Jesus at any time mm-hmm. could have put doubt in this man and said, "I don't mm-hmm. know if God will heal you now," because. Right. You don't go to synagogue. You, right. you don't read your Bible. You, right. you don't say your prayers at night. You don't right. do good things, you know. Right. But so Luke picks up on it and tells Where an at? interesting story about this man in verse 2. Where at the what chapter? Luke 7, okay. verse 2. Right. Now, a certain Satorian servant who was dear unto him was sick, ready to die. So here we get the story now. Here's a Satorian has a servant that served him faithfully we don't know how long probably Mm -hmm. years he came to love this person like a son Mm -hmm. because they use the same word in the greek that you would use for a beloved son but you can also use it for a beloved servant Mm -hmm. so this person was dear to him he was Mm -hmm. he was loved as a son okay Mm -hmm. and he's close to death 
and this Roman centurion is hurting for him. Mm -hmm. He's tried all medical reasons, all medical, um, uh, what am I saying? All medical uh, things they had at that time, right. and nothing was working, mm -hmm. and this kid was dying. Mm -hmm. And so he goes, and when he heard of Jesus, I that's, this verse that's the key. I have this underlined. And when he heard of Jesus. And that's the key. Faith comes by hearing, mm -hmm. hearing, so, hearing. If you meet hearing. A person, so how did this Roman Satorian know that God would hear him, right. heal him? Mm -hmm. Because he heard mm -hmm. there was a man anointed why, of God. And that's why I'm excited about the opportunity to do these shows is because maybe you don't come inside the church where mm -hmm. you preach the sermon, but you can still hear that's right. You can still hear where you're at in your life, what you're doing that day. You right. can still hear. And and what I want to mm. bring out in this story, because mm. we don't want to run out of town. Mm. When they came to Jesus, oh, wait a minute, when he heard of Jesus, he sent unto him elders. Now, I want, what I want you to see here is he never, he never went to Jesus. He mm. never met Jesus. Which I didn't know growing up in church all those years. I never knew that. He never saw yeah. him. He never met with mm -hmm. him. He never talked with him. Yeah. Because sometimes when we... In our faith, we say, man, if only I could see Jesus. Yeah. If only I could see Jesus appear to mm -hmm. me and sit down with me mm -hmm. and talk to me, I would really believe. Mm -hmm. This man only heard about Jesus. About him. And that's what we mm -hmm. do. We only hear mm -hmm. about our God. We only hear about his covenant. We mm -hmm. only hear about his mm -hmm. truth. Because why? God wants us to walk mm -hmm. by faith. Yep. To the Jew... They were in covenant, so God could use the manifestations. There's different rules. That different. So but your, notice here that God yeah. causes this man as a proxy uh, three, to yeah. touch Jesus. Right. So when we come to God, we use Jesus as a proxy, in other words. Okay. Pray to the Father in my name. Mm -hmm. So we can come to God boldly because of what Jesus did for us. Mm -hmm. This Roman is coming to him because the Jews... We're in covenant with him. Mm -hmm. Notice here, he, when he heard of Jesus, he sent unto him the elders of the Jews. He sent the power of the Jews mm -hmm. to Jesus. Right. Because he so thought, there again, you see, he understands authority. Right. Mm -hmm. right. And he understood mm -hmm. why Jesus would listen to he them. He didn't usurp it. Right. He learned how to work with it. This keeps doing it. And I love about how Jesus had respect mm -hmm. for the people in position right. of power and it of his day. Right. Even if he didn't agree with them, a Roman. he still honored them. A Roman. I mean, right. they're in they're in captivity to Romans. Right. But he still didn't make him excluded. Right. You know? And and I love how Jesus honored mm -hmm. the elders, even though he probably didn't agree with one of, one of them. And so he, and notice here, he sends the elders, mm -hmm. and they say to him that he should, uh, this is a killer that he should come and heal his servant. They're demanding him. Mm -hmm. And how many times in our life have we not demanded God mm -hmm. to do something for us? Why do we think that we're that worthy mm -hmm. for God to give us that special right. attention? Right. So these Jews are standing in a place of, the, of this Roman centurion mm -hmm. as a proxy and demanding Jesus to come and heal yeah, that's that his King, servant. King James word beseech. You know, when I yeah. when certain King James words kind of like I'm like, okay, that means it's it's going down. He, that's kind of like it's kind of <laughs> like a, a begging demand. Yeah, it's like yeah. you're demanding him but begging him at the same time. You're crawling attention. Right, mm -hmm. saying and and, and so he, it's the opposite of faith. You're drawing attention because you're demanding. In, in a sense, in right. A sense. I, I follow yeah. it because God's yeah. faith, you're demanding on his on, promise. On a different, yeah. On God's promise. Right. On his word. What this he one, they already were said he would do for yeah. us. There was no faith in this demand. Right. It's, mm -hmm. I put it this way. If Matthew mm -hmm. would have come in my room, my son, yeah. and demanded me to do something right. for him, right. I would have probably turned him around and gave him a left foot of fellowship right <laughs> up his buttons and told him to get out of my room. Mm -hmm. But if I told Matthew something six months prior that I would do for him, he has a right to demand that because I gave him my word. Right, right. I gave, I obligated my word to him and mm -hmm. said, I will do Which this for you, Which is what son. you did preach on Sunday. The um, faith is an obligation. It's a two-way obligation. Mm -hmm. It's right. God obligated himself right. to you, and you have to obligate yourself to right. his word. And then. Right. And you say, why yeah. would you get It's like a math equation. And, and in then. our culture today, why <laughs> would you get mad at your son and discipline mm -hmm. him for that? Because I'm the one paying the bills. I'm the one right, in authority. Right, right. I'm the dad. Hmm. I'm the one, it, it's my money, I earn it. And I used to say to him, man, son, when you pay the bills, then you can kind of have more say in the house. And I, I don't know if that's right or wrong, but the point of it is, I'm the dad, hmm. I'm the authority of the house, hmm. you're my son. Okay. Now, verse 4, they start to put their case out. 
So, and I love this. So there's a different kind of, like when we teach about prayer, mm -hmm. there's different kinds of prayers. One of these kinds of prayers is you plead your case. You put right. your case out. You, you go to the table and you talk to God and you say, right. I'm laying my stuff out to you, God, you know. And I also want to say, again, mm -hmm. when we approach God, we approach him on the promise of his word, right. what God already mm -hmm. gave us as a promise. Right. We're not coming to God and demanding him to do anything mm -hmm. he has not promised us. That's the key. And the word promise in the Greek, as you said, is he obligated himself to mm -hmm. us mm -hmm. by his word. So they now, gave notice three what points. they do. They gave three points. Number one, he's worthy. Right. So don't even question why we're asking you this. Right. But they plead. Number two, right. he loves our nation. Right. And number three, he built us a synagogue. And that's <laughs> why they're thinking Jesus should come and heal him. Right. And what is Therefore, that? Yeah. That's works of flesh. Right. We yeah. always get, mm -hmm. as humanity, thinking we please God by our works. Mm -hmm by doing good things, showing mm -hmm. up the church. It's kind of like, women. It's kind of like women do men. I, I knew this one lady, she got so upset at her husband. I mean, I mean, they already had issues, but she compounded it by this. She had mopped the floor, cleaned the house, made him a meal and every, and he didn't say thank you when he came mm -hmm. in the door. So, oh my goodness. Bullets were flying. Not have bullets, you, have but you noticed but she's allowed to give her stories, but I get the eyes when I do my stories? But I, I mean, mean, what is I this? mean, that man was like in right. the doghouse right. <laughs> without the, a bone. But the point of it is, is we'd approach God <laughs> through the way he designed it, which is mm -hmm. faith on his promise, on mm -hmm. his word. Here, these Jews, the covenant people of God, mm -hmm. are approaching God and demanding him mm -hmm. to do something because of this man's works. Mm -hmm. It's not works that save us. Right. It's not by our works. Our works are filthy rag mm -hmm. in the eyes of God. God does not honor our works. Mm -hmm. you, you can be the best charities giving you, you want. You can give all your wealth away. But if you have no faith, it doesn't do you any good. Because faith is the equitable part. Right. Faith works is, is the part that you try to prove you're better. Right. You have more to do. And I love this mm -hmm. because what Luke is saying here is this mm -hmm. proxy comes to Jesus and says, mm -hmm. we demand you yeah. to come and heal this man's servant mm -hmm. because not only is he worthy, mm -hmm. why? Because he, he built us a church. He, mm -hmm. he gave us money. He, he believes in, in our cause. Mm -hmm. He is worthy. Just because you believe in God doesn't mean God's going to move for you. And that's and, where and we made a lot of mistakes. And then what happened in verse 6? What happened? What did that centurion See, I'm never allowed to tell my stories. What did he stories. do in verse 6? Right. Now, I want you to have time to do it all. Right. So it says, <laughs> I'm moving for he loved with our nation, he built us a synagogue. Mm -hmm. This is what they were demanding him on. No, we only can put a demand on God so when we were, obligate ourselves to his word. No, I want you to see this all. In verse 6, mm -hmm. they were his proxy, so they're demanding. Right. And they're putting forth their case. Right. But in verse 6, the man himself Right, Jesus went says, with them, yeah. and he was not far from the house. Now notice now the this, Syrian. he now sends covenant people with him. Right. He sends his friends. His friends, not the Jews. Not people. the Jews, because right. he felt they would misrepresent right. him. Right, that's what I'm saying. It's about the representation. Right, right. go ahead. So he sends his friends, and he tells them to say this, Lord, don't trouble yourself. I'm not worthy that you should even enter under my roof. Okay, Th this is interesting. So Greek. Is that's a command. He's submitting himself right. to Jesus. This is actually a command. They say, do not trouble yourselves mm -hmm. why because this man felt he wasn't worthy of him mm -hmm. this man wasn't what the jews were presenting to him he's worthy come come and heal me he 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 deserves it yeah he deserves it he's saying no 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 we want more I we want to get more out of this rich guy right he said what i heard about you you're a righteous yeah. man you're anointed of mm -hmm. god god's mm -hmm. power moves to you yeah. i'm not worthy of you i yeah. don't need so i'm nervous heart, for you to even come near so me you know his heart was pure his heart was pure his heart was not to many, his heart was like, I got this sick servant that I really, really love. Right. I know that you will probably be able to do this for me. He now represents himself right. in humbleness right. and submission, and notice which again, we're not usually accustomed to nowadays. And notice again, it's through proxy. Mm -hmm. When right. we come to God, we don't come directly to God. We come through Jesus. Mm -hmm. That's why we say, Father, in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Why? Because Jesus earned that right to sit at the right hand of the Father. Right. We're invited through there by faith, mm -hmm. but we still come through his Yep. righteousness, his act of mm -hmm. his redemption. He pleads for us. He's he's our proxy before the Father. God wouldn't give us a, a moment of attention mm -hmm. because of our uh, lives and who we are, but he will listen to Jesus. Mm -hmm. And so when we come to God, we come, he says, friends, friends is a covenant term. I come through the covenant of God 
-hmm. through my he says in John 15 I call you friends mm -hmm. so I come through my friend of Jesus mm -hmm. to speak on my behalf before the father and and I love what you said he comes humbly and mm -hmm. says I am not worthy mm -hmm. to even meet you I'm not even worthy for you to step in my home you're in a league above me mm -hmm. but I recognize I heard the power that's moving mm -hmm. through you I heard the miracles that you have done and all I'm okay. asking if there's any possible way yep. you could come now and you heal set my the servant. stage for the story but I want to read the next right. verses together right. and then, then you can give your thoughts because if this right. isn't familiar to you if when we do it all dissected it doesn't right. so let me read it for I also am a man set under authority no no I'm sorry I'm in the wrong place verse 7, seven. wherefore neither thought I myself worthy to come unto you but say in a word and my servant shall oh, be healed. I know you're going to do that. For I also am a man set under authority, having under me soldiers. And I say unto one, go, and he goes. And to another, come, and he comes. And to my servant, do this, and he does it. When Jesus heard these things, he marveled at him. And he turned his mouth about and said unto the people that followed him, I say unto you, I have not found so great faith. No, not in Israel. Right. And they that were... And they that were sent, returning to the house, found the servant whole that had been sick. And in Matthew, I wanted to go back there, but we probably won't have time. Notice here he said, but say in a word, in a Greek, that's a command. Command mm -hmm. it. Because he comes down here. Remember he said to, I, go, I say the one go, and he goes. Mm -hmm. That's the same pronouncement imperative. Mm -hmm. When he had the authority of Roman government, he didn't have the dominion himself. The government of Rome he represented backed him. Them. He represented the power mm -hmm. of Rome, and he, and the soldier understood that he was the representative of that mm -hmm. power. So when he gave him the pronouncement imperative, mm -hmm. he went mm -hmm. because he knew that could cost his life. Right. He knew that he could even be put to death right. for disobeying his commander. Mm -hmm. So think about what this Roman soldier is saying to Jesus. I understand that you have all dominion in the realm of the spirit. Mm -hmm. I believe that you have dominion over all sickness and disease. I've heard the reports of what you've done. He's you've raised the this, dead. Yeah. You mm -hmm. have healed the lepers. Mm -hmm. You have you have done things. You've you fed five thousand with a lunch, kids lunch. Mm -hmm. You have done. You turned water that was undrinkable into wine, mm -hmm. the best wine. And the and the man at the party said, "Why did you save the best for last? <laughs> for the last yeah. We're all drunk. Why would you save the best for last?" Mm -hmm. And so. G he recognizes the dominion that Jesus represents to him, mm -hmm. having the authority over mm -hmm. evil, having the authority over sickness, having mm -hmm. authority over disease, yep. having authority over death. Mm -hmm. And he says, all I want you to do is command mm -hmm. by your words, mm -hmm. and I love this, command by your harema, mm -hmm. and my servant will be healed. And, it was and he explains to him and, why he would be healed. And it was a statement of fact to him. Mm -hmm. He didn't even doubt. He said, he'll be healed. Right. If you do this, he'll be healed. So my point so. I wanted to bring mm -hmm. out on mm -hmm. Sunday yep. was when we understand there's three intellects. Mm -hmm. There's our own intellect. Yep. There's the intellect of our teachers or medical science or mm -hmm. medical doctors or someone we trust in. Mm -hmm. We believe what they're telling us is knowledge. Mm -hmm. And then there's God's intellect. There's, there, there's his knowledge and his mm -hmm. knowledge. And this guy recognized mm -hmm. that God's intellect was stronger than his intellect. Mm -hmm. He had power from the Roman government that he could tell a person to go, to come, or to do this. Mm -hmm. He recognized that through the intellect of God, through God's yeah. uh, thoughts and facts and truth mm -hmm. given to Jesus representing God, mm -hmm. that he had absolute power over sickness and disease. He recognized the dominion of his power mm -hmm. and said, I know that if you just command this sickness to go, my mm -hmm. servant will be healed. Yeah. What a great faith, because he recognized that if we tell sickness what God thinks about it and what he's promised us in mm -hmm. his word, and we truly believe that, it mm -hmm. will come to pass. Yeah. And that's where we have made our mistake. We come thinking our works are going to do it, and that's yeah. what this brings out. We think because of the things we've done, we're worthy to do it, or because of where we're at. And all. Mm -hmm. I've given up cigarettes. I've mm -hmm. given up jokes i've given up mm -hmm. drinking i've given up movies i've given up everything mm -hmm. for you mm -hmm. so i'm worthy for you to heal me that's not the system that god built what this guy recognizes is that he had dominion over sickness and disease mm -hmm. he recognizes that dominion mm -hmm. and he's asking him go ahead and say but mm -hmm. god through the through our his 
death, burial, and resurrection. He's given us that dominion mm -hmm. to stand to things that are coming against our life, mm -hmm. backed by God's intellect, back, based by God's thinking, mm -hmm. based by God's truth, yep. that we can put it out there through that dominion. We represent God on the earth. Mm -hmm. We're his body of Christ. We can speak to something and it has to obey us, not because of our power. And I, and mm -hmm. I heard it described like this, if a police officer got out directing traffic mm -hmm. and he put up his hand, we stop not because he has the power to stop our car. We could run him over and kill him. I got mm -hmm. hit by a car. I know what that feels like. So what, what we recognize is the badge that represents the dominion mm -hmm. of the authority mm -hmm. of that state and the government. So yeah. when he puts up his hand, we see the badge, mm -hmm. we see the uniform, <gasps> we stop mm -hmm. because we know that there's going to be a cost if we don't. Mm -hmm. I don't know about today, but there <laughs> used to be in our country yeah. that yeah. the thought that if I disobey a law, I'm right. going to be in trouble. And so this guy was saying to him, I recognize how much power and dominion you have in mm -hmm. the realm of the spirit. If you would just speak it, if you would just command it, I know that my servant would be healed. And mm -hmm. Jesus called that great faith. Mm -hmm. That we take God's word, his mm -hmm. promise, yep. speak it into our life against anything we're... Contrary. Certain, yeah, mm -hmm. contrary to what's happening. That opposes. His right, word. and we find yeah. scripture that opposes mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. And we speak that with the authority in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Whatever's coming again, against it has to stop. It has again, to be arrested. Resist, oppose, and withstand our God, God thoughts. That's right. You know, we all think 21st century that we've got... New ideas, right? But no, those and, are God's and God marveled, and this wasn't even a Jew. This wasn't even a covenant person. Mm -hmm. Number one, he never met him. He mm -hmm. never talked with them. All he did was heard. Mm -hmm. Faith comes by hearing. Yeah. When we hear the promises of God and we understand the dominion that that promise brings to us, mm -hmm. who's backing that promise? Yeah. The intellect of God who spoke it to us, mm -hmm. that brought it to us, yeah. and and the will. A will doesn't come into effect till there's a death. So God's will, the words was his will, and the death was Jesus Christ, his blood that he shed, mm -hmm. brought that will into perspective, brought it into reality, brought mm -hmm. it into realism, or however you want to say it, to make mm -hmm. it real. That's the power and the dominion we have. Mm -hmm. Because even Satan, after he'd done it all, said, boy, whew, if I would have known what this did to me, I wouldn't have crucified right. that guy. Mm -hmm. Because we have an incredible dominion Mm -hmm. Our proxy is the Word of God through Jesus Christ. He is the Word. Mm -hmm. it, it makes us a friend of God, mm -hmm. and we can come on that dominion as long as we have His Word, we have His promise, we have His backing, mm -hmm. just like that police officer has the backing of the state or that county or, you know, or that region, mm -hmm. and that badge gives him that power. We have to obey that. Mm -hmm. The enemy recognizes his defeat. Mm -hmm. And when we come with the word of God, with the power behind that word, and we put up our hand and say, desist or stop or quit, mm -hmm. because we have the backing of the dominion of our God through his promise of his word, and we apply that, it stops whatever's coming against mm -hmm. us. And Jesus called that great faith because he mm -hmm. understood. He believed it. He received it. And he spoke it. He said, man, I don't even want you to come to my house. All I know, if you will speak it, mm -hmm. sickness and disease will bow its knee, mm -hmm. and my servant will be healed. Yeah. And he understood that. And Jesus called that mm -hmm. great faith. And that's a good place. We really need to start closing down. So um, right. what would you want to do to wrap it up? Well, I think Matthew 8 kind of brings it out. You the, wanted to go back there. Yeah, right? okay. he brings it out the best. Mm -hmm. He said uh, in verse 10 of chapter 8, He Verily I say unto you, I have not so found great faith, not even in Israel, because he was a Roman centurion, mm -hmm. and he was amazed. It's, the word "marvel" is amazing. Mm -hmm. It's like your mouth drops, and you're and yeah. you're amazed. You have to sit down, as you're so amazed. And mm -hmm. that's also for good or distress. Mm -hmm. You know, some things you hear, you go, "Oh my God, mm -hmm. you got to sit down." Oh man, I took the strength mm -hmm. from me. But notice thirteen. Jesus said unto the centurion, "Here's the key. Okay, go your way." So God wants us to walk our life out, mm -hmm. our journey here on earth through mm -hmm. faith. Mm -hmm. And as thou hast believed, it shall be done unto you. And that's how he wrapped that up. If we believe God's word and truly believe it, we walk our life out through God's word mm -hmm. and things that we truly believe will mm -hmm. be done. 
I like that. In our life. I love that. I That's like, how he I wrapped like, it up. I like this part. So be it done unto you. Yeah. yeah. And that kind of sounds like Mary. Be it unto me according to your word. Right. It's the performance that God will then put to his word. He will it, perform it. It's the same word that's in Mark mm -hmm. eleven twenty four. Yeah. It will be yours. Yeah. It will be mine. Yeah. It's the same thing. It and, will be done or it will be yours. And his servant was But notice healed. it's on our faith. It yeah. isn't on God. It yeah. wasn't done by our works. No. Nope. It wasn't done by our worthiness. I'm revving you up when I told you to okay. stop. <laughs> it's not our works. It's not our worthiness. Yep, yep. It's not who we are positioned his, in life. Right. It's faith. On God's word uh -huh. and believe that with all of a heart speak that over our circumstance even understanding when, even the when dominion something's of God's contrary. word huh? even when something is contrary right stay the same be steady and he right. and his servant was healed in that self same hour right because Greek yeah. Greek didn't have like a second they yep. didn't understand the the, the concept yeah. they didn't have the the description of, of a time, second. Of yeah, time. of time. So they mm -hmm. said within that hour. Yeah. And I can tell you with the pronouncement imperatives mm -hmm. that were spoken, mm -hmm. that's done as soon as it's spoken. Yeah. It's called an instantaneous present. Right. It's done the moment you speak it. Yeah. And that's what began to draw me. And that's me. called great faith. Right. And that's mm -hmm. what drew me to mm -hmm. these story because instantaneous present means as soon as you believe it, you receive it, mm -hmm. it's done. Mm -hmm. Because you believe it. You, you actually you believe, believe it. Because you understand mm -hmm. the dominion mm -hmm. of God's word. Yeah. You understand the dominion of God's power. Because a lot of us power. say, a lot of us say, oh, I believe. I believe the Bible. I believe God. Right. I believe God can do. I believe God will do. I believe, I believe, I believe. We say that. Mm -hmm. But we need to do it from the and inside out. Here's the last thing that was quickened to me. Yep. We believe sickness is strong. Yep. We believe disease is yep. strong. And without the teaching of God's word, mm -hmm. most people will die under that disease and sickness mm -hmm. because they believe in that power. They right. believe in the mm -hmm. dominion of that mm -hmm. sickness and disease. Mm -hmm. God's trying to change our thinking through this story. Mm -hmm. The Roman centurion heard God's I like, word. I like the thought we align ourselves mm -hmm. with the truth. Right. You have to be aligned with the truth in right. order to... Because this Roman yeah. soldier heard about Jesus, mm -hmm. his dominion. Is this how you close? And yeah, because <laughs> we need to learn... Yeah. That we don't, we do not have to have the dominion, mm -hmm. sickness, disease to take us down on our last days on earth. Mm -hmm. That through God's word yep. and the dominion of the power of what that word represents, mm -hmm. we do not have to have sickness, disease to take us down in life. We right. can walk like this Roman centurion said, I know that if you just command it, Mm -hmm. It will be done. So now in the new covenant, we have to command it. Mm -hmm. We have to right. speak it because we yeah. believe we receive God's word. We understand the dominion of God's mm -hmm. word. It's more powerful than sickness and disease. And all we have to do is believe it and speak it over yep. our so life. So we thank you for tuning in. Yep. And we invite you services on Sundays, 10 a.m., 582 Rockingham Road, Living Hope Fellowship. We have an interactive Bible study on Wednesdays right. from 5 to 6 and we'll speak a blessing. I want to thank Fact TV for the opportunity of sharing our message and also check out the other sites that are produced. And we're People excited putting... that it's going into King too. Yes, yeah. and so we welcome. thank Fact TV yeah. for also allowing us yeah. to be a part of that to go in. And so, yeah. God bless. Yeah.